So I'll sketch the smaller triangle here and then the bigger triangle here. So basically the smaller triangle is B, E, A. And then the bigger triangle here is C, D, A. Um, so basically, um, B, A is 4.5. So that's 4.5, A, E, 5. Uh, we don't have the base. Here the base is 5.6. And then we have A. That's about it. So the first step is um, they want us to find uh, B, E. So to find BE, actually I can work it out up top here. So BE, we can just take the ratios of the length. So BE over CD, which is 5.6, will be equal to um, AE, which is 5, over AD, which is 8. So basically, uh, we can clearly see here that BE will be equal to 5 multiplied by 5.6 over 8. So BE will be equal to um, 3.5 if you plug that in the calculator. And then part B, they want us to find um, BC. Now to find BC, we'll have to find AC first. So step 1. find AC. Now to find AC, we can um, use the two triangles that we have here. So AC, this one, over 4.5, um, will be equal to um, AD, which is 8. Um, over AE, which is 5. So that implies that SC will be equal to 4.5 multiplied by 8 over 5, which will give us, um, if you plug that in the calculator, that will be 7.2 centimeters. And then step 2, we can now proceed and find um, Yeah, so step two, we can now proceed and find uh, BC. So BC will be equal to SC minus AB. Um, now SC is 7.2. AB is 4.5 which gives us 2.7 centimeters and that's how you work out number 13. okay number 14. Um, obviously if you look at this um, shape you can notice that um, these are parallel lines which means that this angle here should be equal to this angle here. Now, this angle, if these two are parallel, these are alternate angles, so this angle here should be equal to that, and this angle here should be equal to that. So what I'm going to do is, we have two triangles, which, of course, are similar by, um, if you look at those corresponding angles, these two triangles are similar. So I'm going to redraw them. For the top one, I'm going to rotate it. Yeah, so I'm going to rotate so that ED um, basically forms the best um, so that I can be able to look at corresponding uh, angles. So basically, if you rotate that, you'll end up with, and split them up, we shall end up with this. So we'll have a smaller triangle, 
which will be given by that. Just a sketch, simple sketch. Um, and then we'll have another triangle given by that. Okay, so <clears throat> if I rotate this so that this forms the base, if I rotate it clockwise until ED forms the base, so E will be here, D will be there, um, and then C will be at top here. So basically we have that, and then uh, E will be here, and D will be here if I rotate that clockwise till this forms the best. Uh, this one stays the same. So I have A, B, C. Um, and we have two similar triangles. So let's plug in the lens. So basically, um, that is 6, 5.2. Um, SC 7.2. Uh, this here is 9. This is 7.2. Okay. So the first question is calculate BC. So to calculate BC, we'll just take the ratios to the corresponding side. So basically, uh, BC over ED, which is 5.2, will be equal to AB, which is 9 over 6. So BC will be equal to 9 multiplied by 5.2 over 6. And, and if you just plug that in the calculator, that will be equal to 7.8. And then part 2, um, CE. So CE, again, just taking the ratios of the corresponding sides of CE over SE. So this over that, which is 7.2, will be equal to ED, which is 6, over AB, which is 9. So that implies that CE will be equal to 6 multiplied by 7.2 over 9. And if you plug that in the calculator, that will be equal to 4.8. That's basically how you work out number 14. So, last question. Um, triangle PQR, uh, center O. Uh, triangle PQR is an enlargement, center O, of triangle ABC. And then we have some straight lines and then some measurements. So they want us to find um, the length of OB. So first thing here is that, um, let's start, let me just start from the top here. So <clears throat> let OB be equal to X. So let this be X. So let OB be equal to x. So what, what has happened here? What has happened is that the smaller triangle has been enlarged to the bigger triangle and the center of enlargement is O, which means that um, the two triangles are similar. But again, if you remember when I talked about um, uh, enlargement, there's something else maybe you can notice is that this triangle here OAB is similar to this triangle here, OPQ. That's another thing. So let me just write a statement about that. So basically, because triangles OAB, so because triangles um, OAB, and OPQ, are similar. Then we can say that um, OB, yeah, OB over 
the entire length or Q. Should be equal to OA over OP. Okay, so that's a true statement because basically this triangle here is similar to this big triangle here. Now, because OB is X, we can form an equation out of this. So the equation will be X over OQ, which is X plus 7.2, will be equal to OA, which is 2, over OP, which is 8. So basically, if you cross multiply, so 8x will be equal to 2 multiplied by x plus 7.2. So 8x will be equal to 2x plus 14.4. Um, and then you subtract 2x, you subtract 2x. So you end up with 6x is equal to 14.4. Then you divide by 6 on both sides. So basically, x will be equal to... Um, 2.4 so x will be equal to 2.4 and x is OB so part A is done and then for part B let's work it out here um, they want us to find PR now if you look at so PR is here obviously you can maybe draw a line here just so that you can be able to see what's happening. So if you notice here, this triangle here is similar to this one here. Yeah. So we can use that idea to say that, well, PR over AC should be equal to... Um, now, PR is the bigger guy length, so that should be equal to PO or OP over OA. Okay, if you consider this triangle here and this bigger one here. But these are just the ratios of the lengths of those triangles. And then you plug in the length, so PR uh, of uh, 3.7 will be equal to. 8 over 2, which implies that PR will be equal to 3.7 multiplied by 8 over 2. So PR will be equal to 14.8. And that's how you solve that question.